A lot of time. I'll teach you. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. So, here, can you please talk about a family member of yours? Okay. What I would like to talk about my father. He was born in 1985. Um, uh, after, um, and in Hanoi, after leaving school, he went to university to study engineering and became an engineer. After that, he, get ma he got married with my mother and had two children. One of them is me. Uh, now he's no longer an engineer, but he wo works at my grandmother's shop. Um, Does he uh, still live in Hanoi? He's still living in Hanoi, mm -hmm. yeah. And in his free time? Oh, uh, he usually watching, uh, watches football in his free time. Okay, cool. And what do you think about his life? Do you think he has had a good life? Yes, he has had a good life. Okay, why? Because he had, because he, uh, uh, because he has achieved many things mm -hmm. in his life and he is satisfied. Very nice, cool. Part two here is count digitals. They're quite small. Don't worry about this on the left, it's just fours. You can choose four of these conditions and you just need to make a sentence essentially. For example, this one says, if you saw a mouse in your kitchen, I would say, if I saw a mouse in my kitchen, I would take a broomstick and chase the mouse away. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. You can choose any four of these and, and talk about them. If I saw somebody being attacked by a dog, I would help them and find the dog. Mm -hmm. and if a bird or a bat flew into my heart, into into my bedroom, I would uh, uh, make it fly away. How would you do that? Chase it. Chase it out. Yeah, cool. If it was a very hot day and I were on the beach that was famous for shark attacks, I wouldn't swim but have some ice cream. Okay, cool. And one more. Uh, if my neighbor's dog back on back on night, I would tell I would tell the neighbor to make the dog shut up. Fair enough. All right. Cool. Next one here is phrasal verbs again. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scenarios here. You need to talk about two of them. So very quickly, just read through the questions and decide which two you would like to talk about. Okay. First, have you ever thought, forgotten to turn your mobile phone off in a concert or other cinema? Mm -hmm. I have forgotten to turn my mobile phone off in the cinema. I was watching a funny film, mm -hmm. but suddenly it, my phone rang and my phone rang and and uh, it was very loud mm -hmm. and everybody stared me. It was very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Next one is, have you ever asked your neighbors to turn the TV or the music down? Yes, I have, I have once uh, asked them to turn the music down. It was midnight. I was sleeping, but the neighbor turned. But my neighbor turned the music on, and it was very loud. Mm -hmm. So I asked them to turn it down. Mm -hmm. Did he agree when you asked him, or was he angry or embarrassed? He was. Uh, he this he didn't agree because he wanted to. Because he enjoyed listening to loud music, right. but I explained that I need to sleep mm -hmm. because the next day is my is my exam. Mm -hmm. So the 
Nintendo. Yeah. Brilliant, cool. This one here is a bit confusing. It's about indecisiveness and whether you think you are indecisive or not. We'll skip through this part for now. Just look at this question. Do you often change your mind about things? And what kind of things do you change your mind about? Um, I think I often, yes, I often change my mind about things. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what things do you change your and mind about? Is activities in my free time. Sure, and? And I think I am indecisive. Yeah, cool. Can we go through this one here? What? What is it about choosing activities in your free time that is difficult? Why are you indecisive about that? Because I always make many plans and I don't know what to do. Okay, is that because you have different friends that enjoy doing different things? Yeah, or? I have different friends that okay. enjoy doing different things. Okay, alright. So this one here. This one is essentially telling a story for one or two minutes, similar to before. You have four different options that you can choose from, and you need to tell a full and complete story for about two minutes long. So again, look at the four options and then tell me which one you want to talk about. Okay, last weekend I was with my family to uh, to a plan to ride horse. I was the first one to ride the horse when I was riding the horse. It be, suddenly became um, uh, crazy and started to run around. I, I can't control. I can't control it, and it started to run into a tree. But suddenly, I fell off it and didn't. Um, just so you're running a horse. It was going towards a tree. Did the horse hit the tree? No, it's uh, ran into a, a, a different direction. Direction, and did you fall off the horse? Yes. Okay, and then what happened? Were you hurt or not hurt? I was hurt a bit. Okay, and, and uh, next, someone finally finally catch the dog, the horse, and it it became came normal again. Okay, and then when you fell off the horse, who came to help you? My father. Your father came and picked you up too. Okay, sorry to talk. Right, well, have you finished your story? Yeah. That's it, that's the end of the test. Thank you very much, high five. More.